Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, Confuse the Devil. And the peace of God which passeth our understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Philippians 4, 7 through 8. We don't have to search to find discouragement. We don't have to search to find challenges. I mean, all you need to do is just to wake up. And sometimes even in your dreams, <laughs> you are facing challenges. It is said that when the enemy goes and plans his attack on God's people, he emphasizes mainly on discouraging God's people. The enemy knows that when you're discouraged, you're demotivated. There's no drive to do whatever you got to do. Being discouraged can destroy your entire day, your week, your month, or even your year. Discouragement comes in various forms. It can be either words or actions. It can be done via an individual or a circumstance. Sometimes we feel so overwhelmed. We feel so stifled. We feel as if we need to come up for air because we can't breathe. Each day we go being discouraged, each day we go being hurt, each day we go being down. It's another day of victory for the enemy. And whatever God has intended for you, you're not able to benefit from them because you have allowed the discouragement to cause your mind to be bound. And when your mind is down, then it affects your emotions. But how do we overcome this challenge? It's by recognizing that God has given to us one of the most powerful things on the face of this earth. What is it, you might ask? It is the power of choice. Understanding that I've got no control over what the enemy does or who he uses, but I've got control over how I react to what the enemy does. And understanding this mental power, I'm now able to confuse the devil. I've got a choice to make. I'm choosing to have a good day. I'm choosing that no matter how negative that text that might come in might be, it won't move me. I decide that no matter how negative that call might be, it's not going to move me. Listen, there's some folks that are in your life. All they do is cause you nothing but hurt and pain. Well, I'm deciding that today I'm going to block some people. I'm deciding today that some folks' numbers are going to be deleted out of my phone. I'm choosing to have a good day. I'm choosing the peace of God. I'm choosing to confuse the enemy. When the enemy expects me to sit down, I'm going to stand. If he expects me to keep quiet, I'm going to shout. If he expects me to cry, I'm going to laugh. Oh, the devil thought that this was another day of having you down. I'm keeping it positive. I'm going to read me some scripture. I'm going to pray. I'm going to play some songs and get my praise on. To take it a step further, I'm going out to have an expensive dinner. I've never been to the spa before. Today, I'm going to the spa. I haven't been to the beach in a long while. I'm on my way to the beach. Paul gave this encouragement to the church. Paul said, keep it positive. Today, choose to have an awesome day. Choose to have a blessed day. Choose to have a beautiful day. So today, choose the type of day that you want. Speak it into being and live it and let the enemy be confused. The quote of the day, I'm choosing what my day will be like. God bless you today in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.